In this video, I'll show you how to fix in case you're having Wi-Fi issues with your own 4K streaming device. So let's get started with the easiest trick and then we'll switch to another one. So the first thing when it's happening, let's say the Wi-Fi is cutting, maybe it's not stable, it's slow, it's not normal. The first thing I always recommend is to go on your streaming device itself and simply remove it from um, the wall outlet. So the power cord, just pull it out. Obviously the screen will be dark, as you see. Wait around two to three minutes, let it cool down, and then plug it back on. This is a simple reboot that you can do for any reasons um, if this starts misbehaving. So I'll connect it back, and uh, yeah, we'll be back in a few seconds. In the meanwhile, let me talk about another solution. So if, for example, you are at a hotel, at a school, a hospital, and you brought your own um, 4K streaming device with you, and you need to log in with, let's say, a passcode to that Wi-Fi, not only the Wi-Fi passcode, but actually a login. Many places like hotels ask you uh, to go on a web page to confirm certain settings that you're a client, stuff of this nature. Well, unfortunately, this device will not allow you to go on a browser and do those um, different things. What you can do is, well, use your phone. Any iPhones and also Android devices will be able to act as a hotspot. So connect to your hotel internet using your phone, go in the web browser, Go ahead, confirm you're a client, whatever they ask you to, um, to, to for the login, and then use your phone as a hotspot, connect with your own device to your phone internet, and this way you'll be able to use it, to use the internet of your, again, hospital, school, or um, hotel. I researched on the internet and many people were frustrated with this, and this is actually the only solution um, they propose, and I didn't find any other way on how to do it directly on the device. Otherwise, once you do, did the small restart, if this was the issue, you can always go back in the Wi-Fi settings, okay, on the cogwheel there, go down, select Wi-Fi, Then I suggest you disconnect yourself from the Wi-Fi network. So click on it, select forget network, OK, Internet. go back, select your Wi-Fi network from this list, and go ahead and type again the password. If you're still having issues, another thing I always suggest is you go on your Wi-Fi router, you unplug it from the wall outlet, so just pull the power plug out of it, leave it five minutes and plug it back. This happens two or three times every year at my home. I have to do this because all the devices stop receiving the internet, the Wi-Fi. And by doing a small restart of that Wi-Fi router, it fixes the issue. So the problem could also not be your own device, but actually just the Wi-Fi router. I hope this was useful. If you have any other tricks, please leave a comment down below, subscribe, like, and I'll see you in the next video.